Happy days are here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I suggest you subscribe. I'm Ryan and we're out here in the Chaos Garage today. We're gonna to be working on, I got a hood for my 2000 Mustang and not just any hood. So I kinda, I like to do things that, that stand out a little bit and I wanna go with something different. So I feel like for these cars, people typically go with like two different styles. Either the 0304 Cobra hood or they do like a some type of cow hood. Which both of those look great. It's just so commonplace. You roll up to a car show and you and 30 other guys have the exact same hood. So I wanna do something that stands out a little bit. So I've actually reached out to Celine and picked up one of the S281 Extreme hoods. So I've never actually seen one of these just like on a, on a base style Mustang. So I'd be curious to how it looks. So let's quit wasting time. We're gonna go ahead and jump in, unbox this bad boy and see what it looks like. Out with the old and in with the new. This hood is fully fiberglass, so I can tell it's already a lot lighter than the stock hood. And if you didn't notice already, these vents are 100% functional. So they're heat extractors. And it looks like it actually came with the mesh grills. So it'll be like black mesh under there just to keep debris out. So unfortunately, just like when we did the Z hood, one of the previous mods that we did to the car has to go. I'm really hoping I can reuse the hood props on this one. I really didn't trust it on the carbon fiber. This new hood is fiberglass, so we might be able to get away with it. We'll just have to see again. But for now, they gotta go. These are the hood struts that we're about to have to take off. And unfortunately, I mean, they look really good. And I feel like every car should have these, get rid of the prop rod. But I'm not sure if we'll be able to reuse it with this fiberglass hood. Let's get one last good look with the stock hood, because this is the last time we'll ever see it like that. So now that we have the hood off, I'm looking at like where the hood hinge is gonna sit. And so this is the stock hole that it fits into. And this is our new hood where the hinge is gonna sit. So this hole is dramatically smaller than the stock one. I hope that's not an issue. When we were installing the Z hood, I kind of had a heads up as far as like the fit and finish of a Saibon hood. This one I have no clue about. So I don't know if we need to drill this one out or dremel it out. I'm hoping not. We're going to go for it. Just try to install it and hope it fits. So it wouldn't be a proper chaos install if we didn't hit a snag. So we can't get the stock nuts on the studs for the new hood, so we can't get the hood on. <laughs> so we got through, picked it up, got it aligned, got it in place, went to tighten it down and can't. So that's a problem. So we gotta hit the, hit the drawing board to see what we come up with. So this is the problem. These are the new studs. This is a stock nut. And it just, it will not, for the life of me, thread on there. So I think we need a little bit bigger size nut because I don't want to strip it trying to get it on, but I just, I don't want to force it. Round two, day two. So hopefully things go smoother today when we actually have the proper hardware. So you would think we would learn by now <laughs> to like test fit everything first before we actually try to attempt to install it. But you live and learn. So hopefully this works out today. So we've got some new nuts that actually fit. So now we'll try to throw it back up on the car and see how she looks. Celine, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I really thought this one would slide on really easily, but looking at it, it's hitting the latch. So I'll give you a close up in a minute, but 
I was kind of in my head, I was thinking about it before we installed it and I was comparing like the stock hood and like the little hole where your hood latch goes into, it was smaller than, yeah, the, the stock one was bigger and the new hood was smaller. So I'm wondering if that's the problem. We'll jump in and I'll show you so you know what I'm talking about. But I really thought this was gonna go on easy. All right, so the problem is when we drop, go to drop the hood, the hood latch, you gotta fit it in the hole. And then when it's in the hole, it just won't push all the way down. So it's getting caught up on this latch. And if you look at the hole here, it just seems too small. And then like this thickness of the wall is just too big for like the latch to catch on. So that seems to be the problem. So yeah, it's just the problem. The latch itself gets caught up. So there's just, I think it's too thick. So when I get it on there to try to push it down, it just doesn't want to close and I don't want to risk cracking it. That's as far as I can get it without it properly hinging. It's also hard to tell like our gapping. Obviously when it won't close all the way, it's hard to, hard to see our lines. Because right now, it's almost looking like it's tight at the top near the windshield and it kind of opens up as we get towards the headlight. But I can't tell because when I push it down, it's a little better. I don't know, lots of problems. So it's really hard to get a 100% good look at it. Obviously when it won't close all the way, but I mean, you can kind of see the lines that I'm going for. So it does have a little bit of a cow to it. If you follow that line, it pops up a little bit. And then the heat extractors. So I think it might look good when it's done, but it's really hard to tell when we've got a half finished product. I hate calling any install done <laughs> when we're leaving it like this, but I just, I don't want to risk. I mean, that hood is just, it's too expensive to be chopping up on myself when I'm not really sure what'll fix it. So I know on the Cybon hood that we put on the Z, I had to use the Dremel and actually like make that hole a little bigger. I just, I don't want to do that on this one. That might be what it takes, but I, the problem is I'm not sure if I need to make the hole smaller or if I just need to Dremel like the, the thickness down a little bit so the, the hood latch will catch. But without me knowing 100%, I just, I really don't want to mess with it. So we're gonna leave it here for now. So check back, cause we're gonna, I'm gonna contact my paint guy tomorrow, essentially. But I'm gonna contact my paint guy ASAP and explain to him what's going on. And I mean, he does body work like this, so he can, he'll be able to knock it out, no problem. But ideally, I would like the hood without hood pins. Last resort, I don't mind them. Like I did those air catch latches on the Z, and I can do it for this one. I just, I prefer not to. So I'm gonna take it to him, see what he can do. So stay tuned. We'll get you a finished product, but I appreciate you watching. If you will subscribe to the channel, catch you in the next one.